Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer one of the Java interview questions. That is, what is the difference between local variables and instance variables in Java? Let me answer. At a high level, we have two types of variables in Java. One is local variables and the other one is global variables. So what are local variables? What are global variables? Variables that are created inside the methods in Java programs are known as local variables. Okay, The variables that are created inside the methods in Java programs are local variables. And the scope of these local variables is up to the method in which they are created. You cannot access this variable outside the methods. Okay, The local variables which are created inside the methods can be accessed only in the method in which they are created. And outside such methods, you cannot access them. Those are local variables. Then what are global variables? Global variables, unlike local variables, okay, are created directly under the class. Okay, Global variables are the variables which are created directly under the class and outside the methods. Where local variables are created inside the method, okay, but global variables are created outside the methods directly under the class. But these global variables can further be divided into two types. One is instance variables, one is static variables. We have instance global variables and static global variables in Java. Now here's the question they are asking us is, what is the difference between local variables and instance variables? There, most of the cases, the interviewers will ask you a question like, uh, what is the difference between local variables and global variables? But in this question, they're asking you the difference between the local variables and instance variables. So how can you answer this? You can simply say that the difference between the local variables and instance variables is, local variables are the variables which are created inside the methods. Whereas instance variables are a type of global variables we have in Java, which are created outside the methods and directly under the class. Okay, since they are global variables. Here the word instance means object related variables. Okay, instance variables are the object related variables. Instance means object. The another word for object is instance. Okay, object related variables. Whereas static variables means class related variables. Static means class related variables. Variables which belong to the class are known as Static variables, variables which belong to the objects are known as instance variables. Okay, global variables can be categorized into instance variables and static variables. Fine. And uh, local variables are the variables which are created inside the methods and their scope is up to the method only. Whereas instance variables are a type of global variables which are related to objects and they can be created outside the methods and directly under the class. So variables created directly under the class and outside the methods without static keyword. Okay, if you are not using a static keyword before the global variables that will become the instance variables. Okay, whereas static variables are also global variables. Okay, which are uh, created outside the methods directly under the class, but with static keyword. Okay, that is the only difference between instance and static. But coming to the difference as part of this question, local and instance means you have to answer in such a way that uh, you have to say local variables are created inside the methods, whereas instance variables are created outside the methods and directly under the class. Okay, and uh, what is the scope of these instance variables? You can access this instance variables throughout the class. Okay, instance variables can be accessed throughout the class. So I'm going to explain more about this uh, local and instance variables in detail with practical demonstration. You can understand so that you can understand the difference between these local variables and instance variables in Java. Now, okay, before going to the practical demonstration, let me write down here what is the difference between local variables. And instance variable. Instead of global, I am writing instance here. Okay. Sometimes you may get a question like, what is the difference between local and global? Sometimes you'll get what is the difference between local and static variables, local and instance variables. Okay, whatever it may be, the answer will be almost same. Okay. With small modifications. You can say that local variables are the variables created, created inside methods. Okay. Variables that are created inside methods are called as local variables. Here outside methods. Okay. Created outside methods. That means directly under the class, outside the methods, if you create a, okay, are like global variables, they are created outside methods with, without, without static keyword. Okay, when you create these global variables outside methods, without static keyword, they are called as instance variables, okay, without static keyword. This is what you have to answer for this question, guys. What is the difference between local variables and instance variables means local variables are the variables which are created inside methods, whereas Instance variables are the variables which are created outside methods and without providing the static keyword. Okay. And uh, another difference you can mention about the local variables and instance variables is the scope of the uh, scope.
scope of local variables is up to the method in which they are created. Okay. In the method that you have created, up to that method only you can access the local variables. Outside of the methods, if you try to access the local variables, you cannot access. Whereas that, whereas what about instance variables? What is the difference? Okay, since instance variables are global variables, okay, they are object-related variables, and uh, the scope of this uh, scope of this instance variables is throughout the class, throughout the class in which they are created okay so wherever okay from the starting of the class to the ending of the class you can access these are the major differences between the local variables and instance variables in java guys let me practically demonstrate this now for that i'll switch to this eclipse id i'm going to create a new class right click new class i'll just name this class as class e and uh, then click on finish first i'll create a method inside this class I'll simply say public void sample one method I'm creating. Inside this, I'll say sample one otherwise. Inside this, I'm going to create a variable in A. In A is equal to nine, let's say. Okay. So whether this is a local variable or global variable, this is a local variable. Okay. This is a local variable. So where can I access this local variable? What is the scope of this local variable? Within the method in which it is created. Outside the method, I can act, cannot access system.out.println. Okay, if I say A, no problem. Okay, I can access the variable A without any compiler error. I can access. But if I create one more method that is public void sample two, if I try to access this local variable that is created in sample one method in sample two, can I access? No. If you try to access the variable A, you are going to get a compiler error saying A cannot be resolved to a variable. Okay, why you are getting this compiler error? Because this is a local variable. The variable that is created inside the methods are called as local variables and the scope of that variables are up to the method in which they are created. But commit to the global variables, I can create the global variables outside the methods. In, in none of these methods, I'm going to create outside the methods if I create a variable and assign that with some value, let's say 20, okay? This is a global variable, okay? This is a global variable, global variable. And uh, there are two types of global variables, guys. Okay, if you provide static keyword here before this variable, before the global variable, if you provide static, it becomes a static global variable. It becomes a static global variable. Okay. Or static variable, you can call in simple. If you remove the static keyword, then it becomes a instance global variable or instance variable. Anything you can call. Okay. Instance uh, variable of global type. Okay. You can remove the global keyword if you want. Okay. It's an instance variable. It is a global variable which is created outside the methods directly under the class without the static keyword. Now, if you want to access this uh, variable, Throughout the class, you can access, guys. In this method, you can access. In this method, you can access. Until unless these methods are part of this class, anywhere you can access, guys. For example, system.out.println, B, if I say, I can access. Without any problem, I can access. System.out.println, not get any compiler error in this case. System.out.println, I'll say B. You see, I can access anywhere, guys. Here I can access, here I can access, okay? I can access anywhere, right? Fine. So, this one, uh, this is a local variable, a variable that is created inside the method and uh, can be accessed only within the method, okay? Only up to the method, uh, the scope of the variable will be there. But the variable that is created outside the method directly under the class are global variables. And if you don't provide static keyword, it becomes an instance variable. And this instance variable, you can access throughout the class, okay? That is a instance variable. So hope guys, you got the like difference between local variables and instance variables. These are the major difference you have to talk about this, okay? So scope you have to talk and uh, where you create, okay? You create inside the methods, you create outside the methods, okay? With static, without static keywords or instance, okay? With static keyword means it becomes a static variable, okay? So whereas local variables are scope is up to the method only in which they are created, instance variables throughout the class you can access, okay? Anywhere inside the class you can access, okay? Fine. So with practical demonstration, I answered this question for you. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.